Okay guys, during this video tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use an FTP client such as FileZilla to upload and modify files on your Minecraft server. Using FTP is a great advantage as it's, it's fast and it's effective. Uh, okay, so let's begin by opening our email. And you would have got a numerous amount of emails from us. Um, so we find the one from TC Admin. It says a welcome email, so there's my login to my control panel. Um, and also my details and then down here it says you can access your game server files using the file manager in your control panel or via FTP using the following information so this is the information you're going to need later on in the tutorial okay so if we start off by downloading FileZilla so if you go to Google type in FileZilla click on the top um, and then download FileZilla client select which one's appropriate for your system so if you've got Mac, Linux or Windows so I'm going to go for Windows in this case So just wait for the download to start. Yes, we want to keep the file. So that's going to take about 30 seconds because my internet is pretty slow. <laughs> so in the meantime, let's open up TC Admin, the control panel, and log in with my details, uh, which was this password. Jordan B. Obviously I'm lagging a bit I'm downloading. Right. Uh, so you come to this page in the control panel. So just wait for that thing to download. Okay, so let's uh, just quickly install files that are. I agree. Next. So that's being installed now. So if we launch files that are up. Okay, right, now we have files up. This is where you need to copy the information from the email. So, if you have a look, it says my FTP IP is that. So, if we copy that in, then your username and password is always the same as what you use for TC admin. So, if you change your password in TC admin, it's going to change your FTP password, okay? So, if I just log in there and then get my password. Um, the the port is the default FTP port, so if you just press enter now, it, it will connect automatically. Okay, so now we're logged in. On this uh, right side, you can see everything that's on the server, and then on the left side, you can see everything that's on your computer. So you can browse the files here. If you want to add an OP, you can just right click, view slash edit the file, add the name. So I'll add my Minecraft username. Go file, save, close that, and it'll give you the option saying the file's changed. Do you want to edit it back? Tick the tick box and press yes. So that's now back on the server. Okay, right. Uh, let me just get bucket installed and then I'll show you how to install plugins. So just install bucket 1337. Okay, now that bucket's installed. Also, a really good tip when you're in the FTP: if your files change, that you've done it through File Manager, and you still got the FTP up, just hit F5, and it'll update. You see, now I've got a plugins folder. Okay, so let's go to plugins.bucket.org, and we're going to say install Essentials, a nice easy one. So if we find the Essentials plugin. There we go. So if we download core download. And that's downloading now. Okay, so we've got essentials up here in the uh, WinRAR archive and now simply all we've got to do is Highlight all the files we want, so and then just drag them across, and then they'll upload. Simple as that. 
And then once those are uploaded, all you need to do then is just restart the server and they should work. So if we try it out in a minute. So if we close that now, who knows that? And restart the server. Game server has been restarted, so we should see now if we download the server.log. So if we open that, we should see the plugins being loaded. So here you can see. There you go. Load the essentials protect, essentials chat, spawn. So there you go, essentials been loaded. Um, so basically that's it, guys. Same principle for any plugin you want. You download the the files and just drag and drop, that's as simple as it is really. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video tutorial, there will be more to come.